Hey, Benny Fash, 26th of May, 2022. I do pray well, I sincerely do. Just navigating this stuff can really get to you. There's no peace without Christ. But it appears as though this World Health Organization treaty will go through with no issues whatsoever. The United States representative made that very clear. It's a go. Faced battling COVID-19 and working to improve the global health architecture systems and tools to prevent, prepare for, and respond to the next pandemic to come. Improving and modernizing the IHR is critical in, to ensuring the world is better prepared for and can respond to the next pandemic. There is no greater duty for governance than keep for governments than keeping their citizens safe and free from danger. This includes health threats that can so easily move across borders and spread across the globe in a matter of days and weeks. COVID-19 demonstrates that we must do better in working with each other and communicating effectively when risks are detected. Failure in this regard is not acceptable. The United States of America looks forward to working with member states to move forward on this important issue, strengthening our collective ability to prevent, detect, and respond to future pandemics, and making real progress toward the next one. And making real progress toward the next one. So there you have it. It's all but a done deal. It's interesting. This is Provisional Agenda Item 16-2. This is all the amendments they're voting on as far as the WHO's authority to supersede nation's sovereignty to address pandemic potential health problems, right? This is when Bill Gates can deploy his germ team to basically do whatever they want, and this will lead to a biometric financial system all tied in, mark of the beast, it's on the way, this is a Big step right here. Huge. And Mrs. Many Fish pointed this out. This is very interesting to me. Provisional Agenda Item 16.2. It's a revision, like a rev. You know how they abbreviate revision with rev? So rev 16.2, revelation 16.2. The first went and poured out as vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome in other words, bad, evil, wicked, and grievous, sore. What are we seeing with the monkeypox? I'm just saying. Upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. Think about that. 16.2. I'll leave a link to this if you're interested. And realize that you're not going to go up against this in carnal methods this is spiritual warfare to the core eternal consequences do you understand jesus christ is the truth the life and the way no one goes unto the father but through him call on him learn of him god bless each and every one of you hang in there many fish Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God,